That was part two of our running series video. I've got Fletch from Running Science. Um, we were speaking about the single leg squat and how when the knee drops in, you're gonna start to run into troubles. Um, the first thing you can do to address that is really simple, is just practice correct technique. And when you practice correct technique, that will translate into your running. So Fletch is gonna show us what correct technique looks like. He's been working on this a few weeks now, so it should be pretty good. Um, have a look at it, Fletch. Square up and see what you can do. We'll go without the bend. So the first thing was cueing him to get the knee over the fourth and fifth toe. And he's been working a few weeks and his running's starting to improve and the knee pain's starting to improve, more importantly. And you can practice in that inner range. Don't go too deep because when you run, your knee only yields about five to 10 degrees. And once you start getting that motor control, that motor pattern, it will translate into running in a much healthier knee. The progression to that is add some resistance, which we do with a simple band. Step into that, mate, show them how you do it. Now this is quite tough, it's a challenge on the balance and it's a challenge on both glutes. So Fletch will feel it on this glute because it's trying to control the knee and keep it out and he'll also feel it on the other glute because he's contracting and keeping the band out. And there aren't many runners that go through that and still have knee pain and Fletch is one of those. Uh, stay tuned for part three, we'll talk about some footwear as well.